everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Bob Keys. how are you doing if you're new you're welcome and please make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram blocky signatures and on facebook so you innovation check out my other channel blocky signatures and blocky kitchen back to today's class which will be on how to attach a setting sleeve to your blouse to any type of outfit you want to do and it is just easy and the same process for both children and adults from our last class whereby we drafted the kids basic bodies which i have here and also the basic sleeve in case you miss that i'm going to put in the description box the link to this video yeah so all i did was to place the patterns on the fabric to cut it out as you can see so after cutting it out, then I added half an inseam allowance all around, except from the hem, which I made one inch. For how dot, you could make it one and a half. Then looking at the basic bodies, I also placed it on the fabric and then added half inseam allowance. Then for the zipper, I made it three quarter of an inch. Also for the front. So looking at the back, and don't forget the notches. Don't forget the notches. This is for the back and this is for the front. So I just added half an inseam allowance all around. So this is for the back. And this is for the front. So this is what you have because of the zipper allowance. And this is the sleeve. The sleeve has to be two, but I'm going to be demonstrating on one. So now, what do I do? The first thing I'm going to do now is to join the shoulders. Make sure everything matches the shoulders and the side, the same allowance. Then we can come to talk about the sleeve. Now I have attached the neckline and the side. So this is what I have. This is the back and this is the front as you can see that so let's just set that aside and then go over to the sleeve this is what the sleeve looks like the first thing i'm going to do is this i'm going to run a loose stitch starting from this first notch just above the notch to this other part of the notch so just a loose stitch what i meant by that is the longest stitch on your sewing machine just run it straight to this point so having done that now then you will go to the hem of the sleeve for adults first i will ask you to sew up the sides before we fold the lower part but for kids it's you for beginners you might not find it easy so all you have to do now is to fold in quarter of an inch first then you fold in the same allowance so this is what you're going to have then you will sew it up Stitch, I've run a loose stitch over the crown of the sleeve and also the hem I have attached. Oh. So now you might be wondering why did I had a loose stitch? That is because it will be easy for us to gather it up. You understand when we get to that point. And we are doing that because of the ease we have on the sleeve. So I would advise you to watch the video on how to drop this basic sleeve. The next thing I'm going to do now is to sew the sides. So on the wrong side, I'm going to sew up the half inch seam allowance. I've sewn the sides, as you can see. The next thing is for me to gather this hole a bit on both sides. This is what I have. It might look like a puff sleeve, but no, it is not. It is just your normal sleeve, but we just want to get the crown so well. So the next thing now is to attach to the main bodies. It is for the side, because looking at the notch. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. Make sure the side of the sleeve matches the side of the bodies. Both the sleeve and the fabric are both on the right side now. So having done that, then I'm going to just open up the bodies, take the crown. So with the notch, I know where the crown is. Match it up with the bodies. 
then flip it to be on the wrong side. Make sure all seams are open. Can you see that? So at this stage now, you can start releasing the guard rings. Can you see? So looking at it, both the notch on the bodies and the notch on the sleeve matches each other. So pin it down. Then going to the front also, everything matches. Can you see the notch? That's very important. Then you can start releasing it, the gatherings. Make sure it is even so that you don't have any puff anywhere. So now that is all even. The next thing is to go to the sewing machine and then sew on the same allowance on both the sleeve and the bodies. Can you see that? So I'm going to sew it all around. Now everything has been sewn perfectly. So let's see it on the right side. So can you see what it looks like? Initially it looks like a puff sleeve. It is just for us to walk around the ease. That was why we made it like that. So can you see that? The underarm, everything is just perfect, everything matches right. So what I'll do now is to use my tailor's ham to give it a good press and place it on the mannequin for you to see how it looks. Is that easy? Yeah. This is what the sleeve looks like. You can see it is just so beautiful and well fixed. So looking at this part, you can see everything is well aligned. And looking at the crown, it is just like the sleeve you see in suit and coat looking so beautiful looking at underneath it everything is well laid so that is the beauty of a certain sleeve 